Hello everyone, welcome to Zero Zero J Love. Welcome back to my channel. This is my son's hair that I just trimmed off about one inch to one and a half inch. He is a big guy, he's 15 years old and he's about six feet and he's a pretty healthy guy. So I've already washed his hair. It's really quite hard for me to wash his hair because of his, he's so tall, his height, and then he doesn't want to touch the sink. And you, you know these teenagers. Oh my goodness, and he just turned 15. So what I've done already is I've washed, conditioned, and I've uh, rinsed everything out, and I've added the oil, same as, it's the same regimen I use for my hair. And so I've added the oil and everything, and so the oil just really helps easily detangle and everything. So I do a light rinse when I do the oil, when I take the, when I uh, rinse this hair. So if I've really already detangled everything and I went through and just did a rough cut. I did not want to, for you all to drag me cutting his ends. I did a really, really quick cut. His ends needed it and I was pretty much in a rush to do his hair. And I did not do it Sunday and this is Monday morning. I'm like, let me hurry up and do this child's hair. And I did not have enough time to braid it or anything. So I just left it in its natural state. So I was just going through kind of to show you the length of his hair and it's pretty long. I've been growing his hair for about five years, but at the beginning of that five years, my mother actually cut his hair because he went to his dad's for this. I had it braided up and nicely uh, manageable. And between his father's mother and my mother, they took his hair down. His his father's mother, I believe, took his hair down. And I don't know if it braided it back up or what happened. But anyway, he got to my mother's house. And my mother is real funny acting. And she was like, he couldn't even comb his own hair. So she cut his hair and didn't cut it cute. I mean, it was just like, and did not have permission. And she was just doing something. She told me, if you bring him to my house, I'm going to make some changes. So... That was his dad brought him to the house. And I was telling, I told his dad, don't take him to my mother house looking any kind of way. Cause I already know my mother. But anyway, nevertheless, between the five years of getting it cut from my mom and still continuing to grow his hair is pretty long. Um, and you can see the, uh, it is stretched out. And then, you know, of course it can even, be longer if blow dried and everything. That's what I usually do, do with his hair because his hair is like mine. His hair does better when it's straight. If not, it tangles up. So within this week, probably two or three days, midweek, probably Thursday. This is what I'm putting gonna put in his hair can too shea butter. Just to give him some waves and waves in the front. And then I'm gonna just put in a ponytail because like I say I'm in a rush. And so um, I just took his brush and brushed his hair back. And it makes my wrist tired, I guarantee you. That's probably why older people, I feel like, cut their hair. And I really didn't mean to get in the camera. Because I had to cut, cut the edges and the sides of his hair and the back of his hair. So I had to get the clippers out and cut that up real quick and then washed his hair and everything. And then so I was like, let me just brush it back. And I had somewhere to go. Um, and I really did not want to be on camera, but nevertheless, here I be, hi. So, um, yeah, he doesn't even comb his, his hair. And, he, and when he combs it, he just really rough and he'll pull his hair out. Cause he's like, I'm unbothered, but he wants the long hair. He just doesn't want to do it. So do my hair, his hair and, and everything. And I think what takes so long with his hair is because I do cut it, you know, trim it. Usually I haven't 
been trimming it like I usually do try to trim it every week or every two weeks. When I'm talking about trimming it's here, I'm talking about cutting it with clippers, the edges and the back and the sides. Not the edges, I'm sorry, the back and the sides. So I'm just gonna put this do-rag after I use that Cantu Shea Butter and try to see if I can give him a few waves or something. Let it lay down a little bit. He has this habit of pulling the front of his hair. And you know, edges of it are everything. So I don't want him to pull, pull the front of his hair. And so I'm just gonna put this do-rag on here and I can't put it too tight cause he's gonna, I actually ended up making it a little bit lower because it just bunched up at the top and it doesn't give me the lay that I want. And I, I, I'm gonna guess also too, because he has a high ponytail that I couldn't pull it down. I'm gonna show you a picture of mine's where mine waved up really good. So after I put the bandana on, this is after a while, this is what it looks like. But this is what my hair looks like when I put my Bantu and Kentu. Like, subscribe, and come back. I'll try to give you... Ask me questions so that I can give more content.